Now, India's coronavirus cases have jumped to nearly 4.4 million as almost 90,000 people tested positive, while more than 1,100 died overnight. Globally, the virus has claimed over 896,000 lives while infecting over 27.4 million. More in this report. Hopes of battling the COVID-19 monster anytime soon have been dampened, at least for the western part of the globe. Leading vaccine candidate of the West, AstraZeneca has suspended its stage D trials after a volunteer fell ill. But the company says this does not mean the vaccine is off the table. While President Donald Trump promises Americans a cure sooner than they think, the second wave of the virus continues to wreak havoc in India while the country slips deeper into economic strife. Criticism of Prime Minister Narendra Modi grows in the country as starvation pushes people to borrow at hefty interest rates from private lenders. We lost all work, my husband and everyone else's husband as well. Modi shut down all the means of employment because of this disease, but he can't shut down the hunger, of course. So we took money from Priya's group and started carrying the earning responsibility of the family. My husband was a little unwell, so I had to work. Greece has joined the list of European countries where the second wave of COVID-19 is now getting a foothold. Australia's sigh of relief over a decline in the cases has been short-lived as new infections spike once again in the lockdown state of Victoria. State's premier has been facing severe criticism over the extension of restrictions and arrests of those who have been violating them. We'd all like to be open tomorrow, myself, myself included, but to do that, is not an act of leadership. That is to cave to some of the pressure that's there, to be driven by the anger instead of the epidemiology, to be driven by opinion instead of science and data and doctors. South Korea's defiant churches are facing backlash for flouting retractions and becoming hotspots for cluster infections. Meanwhile, Egypt has lifted some travel restrictions and resumed flights to and from Moscow.